I was still an active uh, composer and artist. Um, and I began producing uh, albums of my, of my music, but it had been transformed at that point. Um, and now I was beginning to explore the possibility of using certain types of sounds built into a musical track for a new form of bringing science and art together uh, more precisely. In that case, it was more in the realm of something called brainwave entrainment, using certain types of sound pulses that are pulsing at a brainwave speed that cause the brainwaves to time themselves to the speed of this pulse, and therefore changing your state of consciousness. <clears throat> and I think the earliest use of that was probably shamanic drumming practices, where uh, you are pounding. If you, if you can listen to a recording of a shamanic drumming practice going, you'll hear the speed of that pulse of the drum beat is around four and a half cycles per second, which is a deep theta brainwave state, pretty much where your brain goes when you're dreaming. And that means that you can take this drum beat pattern in a deep theta brainwave state that's associated with dreaming and transform your, your brainwave state from an awake state up here in beta and gradually pull it down into a deep level dream state without going to sleep first. Pretty much a classic definition of a shamanic trance state. With the possibility of using sound pulses as a brainwave entrainment tool to take your brainwaves from wherever they are and have them attempt to match up to the speed of this sound pulse. You now have a tool to orchestrate states of consciousness to wherever you want them to go. So if we take this kind of knowledge and we combine it with a different kind of research projects that we see before us uh, that equate specific brainwave activity on EEG with specific states of consciousness, and then we can identify states of consciousness that we know are desirable states we'd like to go to, states of deeper meditation, um, the flow state, expanded learning and memory states, um, relaxation states, healing states, creativity states. And we can identify those on EEG. And then we can use sound frequencies to entrain brainwaves to those precise states. We have a great tool for orchestrating things that we weren't able to do beforehand. Now, I, I think that um, this is pretty much the way that People have been using sound for thousands of years in different cultures to orchestrate states of consciousness. And orchestrating states of consciousness to the deepest states that we can achieve, particularly with higher states of meditation, is um, pretty much what I see in my practice. When people go to transformational inner experiences where they have a personal revelation, that's usually when the foundational levels of healing take place. The fact that a person comes in with a certain handle, uh, I have back pain, I have headaches, uh, um, that's not the real problem. That's the uh, smoke alarm going off in the house that shows you've got a fire. But removing the batteries from the smoke alarm is not the answer. It might be the answer while you search for the, for the fire because it's annoying but it's not the final answer. 